can progress beyond itself, um, beyond uh, human and like by and leaps and bounds. And let's let's be realistic here. Almost that I would say that the second AI becomes self-aware and, and realizes what it can do, it's going to become super intelligence at an unbelievable speed unfathomable yeah once it once what? it becomes i mean that's the the theory yeah like <laughs> yeah so when when the ai becomes like, like super intelligence like, like digital super intelligence of these be these machine beings we've given birth to become vastly more complex and able to pretty much so solve human problems in a way and then this is where you begin to sci-fi is like is this a human problem that humans are just bad and then they kill us all <laughs> is that what? the final the final step like you know what this the reason this planet is x y and z is because these humans therefore we take over now well because i feel but i feel like that would be inevitable right because at some point we would become obsolete because like technology improves so much more rapidly than our biology right like they would fucking lap us in no time once they got to that point Right, we would be left in the fucking dust. Probably eventually. I mean, when when it first happens, I mean, they're still going to be relying on our energy. But as soon as they can, that's all automated. And then, yeah, we don't. They don't need us. <laughs> they don't need us for anything. Yeah. Right. Like, like I would imagine we'd be obsolete pretty fucking quick once they could figure that out. Unless maybe we like I don't even know how we combat that. Right. Like, we, like some type of integration, maybe cyborgs. So well, yeah, what, so what you're what, that. what you're talking about, Andrew, is actually like another kind of subsection of artificial intelligence, which is usually referred to as augmented intelligence. And augmented intelligence is essentially, for us, it's like just kind of a little helper. I mean, technically, almost anyone who has a smartphone now access to yeah, that information serious. is an augmented intelligence. When you have that thing, you know, if you so like Neuralink as well, I'd imagine yeah. would be more on the extreme end of so that. More, yeah. more advanced version. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, it would have instantaneous, I think, but you know, having a smartphone and be able to look up anything on the internet is pretty neat. Like, yeah. So we're with that, you become, you know, it's almost the, what we call the you know, what they call the singularity or just uh, man and hu human and machine almost working in tandem, but not. Yeah. Completely so yet. that's, the, that's the term I think it's, so what is the singularity? What is it? Is that just where, man and machine become one is that what it kind of means well it's like where where machines machines attain like humanity where they are like they are indistinguishable from us would be kind of that and then you know essentially we'd have um whatever so whatever like, it is um like we become so, we become all connected to this technology and the singularity means that we're all connected right. like a human internet right so like we don't have, right well, right so, now right, we're having this fucking conversation through the internet but through all these mediums, which, you know, take analog information, put it into digital signals and send it across. But eventually the singularity will be, we'll just be able to sit, we're in each other's minds, sitting in the same room, hanging out. Well, <laughs> yeah, maybe it'll be one of those things Sounds where awful. like you upload everyone, like you upload your consciousness from your physical body into a digital, like, and there's people signed up to do this. But right? it should have like, potentially like seen demolition man remember when they tried to have sex with those fucking headsets it's awful <laughs> but well no john no, spartan like, can't do that i can't there's no way i i could see like if you make a if you make a you know an exact copy of your brain right and it's in the stored in the hard drive of a, a super intelligence that allows your consciousness to live a little bit of space right very little right we're talking we're talking mega a couple megabytes like mini disc like a little right? mini disc and then broken. uh and you copy it and it's you it is you in the digital world right so now you're saying in this reality in this dimension there's physical me that's living and digital me that's alive in the machine and my physical body dies but my digital mind continues on forever right living in you know, the matrix basically <laughs> right <laughs> Right. Well, I mean, you could take that and be like, we've been around, we've been developing our technology for whatever. It's recorded history, what, 6,000 years? Yeah. But say in like 100 or 200 years, we pretty much, we don't need anything we currently use. We just merge with machine and then pretty much we overtake ourselves as an inorganic android. 
Okay, so what do you mean when you when you merge with machine? What do you mean? Like, are we talking Robocop or we're we talking iRobot? Like, we're no longer like we're half man, half robots, or we're no, I, I, I think, think that I think that'll be a stepping stone. Okay. Step, yeah, I think Robocop's a stepping stone, but eventually, because ev- it's no like it's no secret that organic material fares terrible in space, right? Yeah. So what if like we always talk about a about aliens, and it would make more sense that the aliens are not organic in any way, and they, they have got here some because they maybe this is the future. Aliens are AI. Because we we've talked about it before about talking about how you know right now it seems like one of the one of the larger obstacles to interstellar travel is the vast distances. If it happens that there, you know there's no such thing as warp drive, there's no such thing that we cannot go. You know the speed of light is the law, and that you're not going faster than that. Even if you're going the speed of light, you know, or some fraction of it, or even ninety nine percent the speed of light, you're still going to take decades if not centuries, to get, like, to the next star and move around or, or, and things like yeah, that. Yeah, for organic material, that'd be really important right. because you, you don't want to die before you get there. But a computer, it wouldn't fucking matter because you could just power down. It takes however long it takes, and you fucking power up like it was a fucking blink. Yeah, um, it's something similar to people who uh, might be familiar with the Altered Carbon series, like where it's like people just upload the entire consciousness into what they call, they call them cortical stacks. But yeah, like Braden was saying, they're just like little, it's like a little drive, a little hard drive. And then you slot those into a, what they call them sleeves, but it's just like a, just a pre-generated body. You could, you pop them, you pop them out of a vat and you're just like, and you you slot them in and then that's you, you know, except for the the body like everything is still you you could be around for centuries 200 250 years um and but what would that look like you know so yeah if we the chances are uh, there are a lot of experts that think that it our first contact with aliens would be a contact with an alien ai was what we would be um dealing with well dude it makes sense because if if we take earth as the prototype planet for life and how volatile it is, say that's just the standard life evolves on these planets because of the energy and the heat and volcanoes and atmosphere and electricity, blah, blah, blah. Eventually that planet gets destroyed, not completely, but any type of life gets destroyed, reset, extinct, uh, impact, yeah. super volcanoes, a combination of both. <laughs> so eventually if a civilization is to survive, you pretty much have to leave the planet in some fashion and doing that through AI kind of like, um, what's it in halo? The forerunners just the AI yeah. lives forever. Yeah. They built the halos and the infrastructure and all these planets and they just live. They're not a civilization is not there, but their remnants are there forever. But to be honest, that it's to me, that's almost like, that's almost a comforting thought of that if we get to that point in our lifetime where you can be mapped, uploaded, and we send this AI that has basically all of our consciousness inside of it as basically like, even if it's, it's like an AI keepsake, you know what I mean? That this thing lives on and goes and, and explores the vastness of the universe. Um, it, it, it does kind of give me some sort of, it does it makes the when i sometimes when i think of ai i think of it as scary like this is going to come it's very cold and calculated but if it's one of those things where it's if it's per, like preserving life in that kind of way you know what i mean where it's like you know moving life from the physical world to the digital world that can last forever and the digital world leads needs very little to like continue like it, it's it's not as harsh it's it's very forgiving compared to the physical world well, especially if you put that digital like that stuff in space and some type of you know it's some type of interstellar craft that goes and goes and goes and collects information as it goes as long as it doesn't get hit by space debris there's no atmosphere or anything to degrade the vessel like it'll just fly forever well and think about that too it's like they could literally make copies of the same thing and how many different ships and send them all out just right, go. like it's not like, yeah, right. Like you could just send out a fucking fleet of them, hoping that you know whatever you would like to accomplish by keeping it alive, or or just even that, just keeping your like say say if we had the digital copy of Earth on a fucking Umuamua just drifting, and the goal was that we just send them out because we're like we just want to preserve the intelligence and our 
our human culture and knowledge and everything we had and just keep that going digitally forever right as long hey guys thanks for watching i know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation you get full access to it on patreon anyways thanks guys enjoy the next video